Good afternoon everyone. This is Vrishali. In my last lectures, we discussed about some previous units points with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned the complete processor architecture playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will learn the next point that is CISC versus RISC architecture with example. In this session, we will learn the difference between RISC versus CISC architecture parameter wise and point wise. At the end of the difference, I will explain the difference between CISC and RISC with example. So let's start the session. So see here, this is the difference between CISC and RISC. So the first point is the full form. The full form of CISC is complex instruction set computer and the RISC is reduced instruction set computer. So the name suggests that complex instruction means this CISC architecture having large number of instructions and reduced instruction set computer suggests that the instruction size is small number of instructions carry this architecture. Now the next point is instruction length. Six architecture support variable length of instruction. Variable length of instruction means this architecture support 16 bit or 32 bit and 64 bit operating system. But in reduced instruction set computer, it support fixed length of instruction. This architecture supports only 32 bit operating system. So here 32 bit include means upcode, operand, this all things are included into this 32 bit. So it is beneficial for program counter. It is easy for understand to program counter where instructions will start. But in CISC architecture, there are different bits of operating system, different bits of data is there. That's why it's very difficult to program counter, identify the instruction, where to start and where to next instruction will be start. So this is the difference between CISC and RISC. Next point is addressing modes. In my previous session, we have discussed different addressing modes like direct addressing modes, indirect addressing modes, then uh, sequential addressing modes, index sequential addressing modes. So there are different addressing modes are present to fetch data between memory. So CISC architecture supports large number of addressing modes. Means it supports all addressing modes that was present in that particular processor architecture. But in RISC architecture, they supports only small number of addressing modes. They supports only direct addressing modes or indirect addressing modes. See here in this diagram, this is complex instructions, simple instruction. Simple instruction means reduce instruction. See here, this diagram shows the instruction length. Here variable length of the instruction in complex instruction set computer. But in a reduced instruction or simple instruction set computer, there is a fixed length of instruction. So in this way, they fetch the data. Next. The next point is cost. CISC required more number of instructions. That's why it required more cost. But at the opposite of that, reduced instruction set computer required low instructions or fixed length of instructions. That way it has low cost. Next point is power. CISC processor architecture is more powerful as compared to RISC architecture because CISC architecture supports all the instructions. Suppose you have to perform addition, division, multiplication, subtraction. So it supports all the instructions that are available. In this processor architecture, all instructions are by default available. You can use directly use that particular instructions with their library. But here in reduced instruction set computer, there are only some instructions are present like addition or subtraction. And suppose you have to perform multiplication. So at that time you need to create complex or more instructions. So more power CISC is a more powerful as compared to RISC. Next point is cycle instructions. So CISC architecture supports multiple cycle instructions because in same pipeline, fetch, decode and execute, this all operations perform simultaneously. Suppose one instruction is in execution phase, another instruction is in decode phase and their previous instruction is in fetch phase. So fetch, decode and execute, this instruction performs simultaneously using pipeline. But in reduced instruction set computer, it required single cycle instruction. It perform only single instruction at the same time in pipeline. 
so that's why it supports multiple cycle instruction and risk supports single cycle instruction the next point is manipulation so six architecture perform each and every manipulations or we can say operations in memory to memory only that is they perform all the operations in ram but in reduced instruction set computer they perform all the operations in register to register mode because that's why they use load and store instructions more because they load the data into the registers then register load those data into the memory in this way so cisc architecture perform manipulation in memory and this architecture perform manipulation in registers the next point is control unit so control unit generally used to fetch or carry the signals they provide the signals for performing a particular task so cisc architecture supports micro program control unit and risc architecture supports hardwired control unit so micro program control unit means in this cisc processor architecture there are various micro program as per your requirement you can change those program and perform the particular task but in reduced instruction set computer it has fixed kind of environment there was fixed programs are there that's why it is called as hardwired control unit next the examples so cisc processor architecture generally used in motorola intel mainframe this kind of processor and this architecture supports arm mips this kind of processor i will explain arm processor detail in next some session so this is the basic difference between cisc and risc architecture now let's see here here i will explain this example uh, difference by using example see here see here in this diagram this is your supports this is your main memory okay these are the registers and this is your execution unit now just focus here here is a x value is present as 2 is to 2 location right and y value present as 3 is to 3 location okay and you need to perform multiplication by using cisc architecture or risc architecture okay so first you need to perform operation by using cisc see here suppose you need to perform multiplication x into y so how cisc architecture perform they use the command mul that is multiplication they directly take their address that is 2 is to 2 and 3 is to 3 and they perform multiplication basically 2 is to 2 means x and 3 is to 3 means y so they directly perform x into y and store this particular address or store the output into this main memory because they perform operations memory to memory now in risc architecture suppose you have to perform this multiplication using risc architecture so at that time you have to first load value of x value address of x into the x see here x means 2 is to 2 so load 2 is to 2 into x then uh, value 3 is to 3 that is 3 is to 3 address load into the y okay after that you have to perform multiplication that is x into y and whatever the multiplication whatever the output is there so this output stored into this x location so means cisc architecture use only one instruction for perform multiplication but risc architecture use four instructions for performing the multiplication so this is a basic difference between cisc and risc architecture now see here this is just a summary in a cisc architecture they perform every operation with main memory with micro program control unit is there and this control unit generate different instructions but in risc architecture there is a main memory and this is a hardwired control unit means this is the fixed operations are perform is there so you understood so the concept of cisc versus risc thank you